Hey, two bees, it's Psychic Bob. Well, you've been asking for it and I'm hearing you. A lot of you have been writing saying, Psychic Bob, we want to go on a night walk. So here it is, Thursday, Vlog Thursday. I'm coming to you late, but we're going to get in a night walk. So come on along. Well, I'm outside and the air is really nice tonight. It's been raining on and off this afternoon. I was going to do this earlier, but uh, it's nice. It's cooled down a little bit. It was kind of warm today. Uh, we'll go out here. I think the rain has stopped. Let's hope for the best, right? So come on along, guys. The sky is still overcast, so I don't see our moon mother, the moon goddess. As you can see, it's a deep night sky. It's about 9.30 at night, Eastern U.S. time. Anybody in London still up watching? It's early morning there. <laughs> Anyways, it's nice to get out and walk. I love to walk at night. You know, when you walk at night, things look different. You know, like you notice textures and shadow and shapes of things. Sometimes you go by stuff in the day and you don't really notice it. But like this tree tonight, I can see it's leaves reflecting light and notice its different reflective qualities now things like that you sometimes see at night you know look how the the grass here i don't know if you can see it it kind of glistens at night it has a texture that's more apparent while we're out you never know we might see a ufo even if it's rainy, sometimes they come out of the... What's that? Oh, I think that's a helicopter. Yeah, that, I think that's a helicopter. But it's awful low, and it has a strange... It doesn't sound like a normal helicopter. That's kind of weird. Well, there you go. See, that's how I said, keep your eye out. You never know, you might see strange stuff. That's a helicopter, I can see it now. Well, there you go. See an example of walking at night, what it can bring to you. Amazing sights. I love the way the light, the street lamps, I love the way the light filters down through the trees. It creates a kind of a soft glow. The look kind of reminds me a little bit of a Bob Ross painting. You know, I've been watching his shows lately. I love him. This is an example of happy trees. <laughs> I think Bob Ross is right about trees being happy. I do, I think trees have emotions and consciousness and we've got happy trees right here is a beautiful happy tree beautiful <laughs> coming up to this park here which is where a lot of times I do UFO watch sky is still too cloudy tonight to see much so but you know I always do keep an eye out Here's the big crosswalk. Notice in the nighttime how bright it is. It really stands out against the darkness. Now, how can you walk through a crosswalk this giant? Do you see how big these stripes are? And people not see you in the crosswalk. I tell you, so many people run right through this crosswalk and almost hit me. It's ridiculous. But as you can see at night, can't say you can't see that crosswalk. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go on along. I love this park. You know, on a clear night, you can come out here and stargaze. I'm, I'm still looking to buy a telescope because I'd like to get a telescope that I can hook a camera to and film the sky and film the moon and the planets. I think this would be really fascinating for us, especially with our UFO watch and watching for aliens, if we could, you know, get a greater image of the sky at night. I think it would be spectacular. OK, 
can you see the skyline with the trees silhouetted against it? I hope this shows up on camera. It looks really dramatic tonight. There's some clouds, low-lying clouds, and it's showing the skyline. Pretty cool stuff. Well, we're coming up on CVS, the dreaded CVS. Saying Bob needs to stop in there and pick up some stuff, so I guess you get to go to CVS with me tonight. <laughs> Thrill of thrills. Well, as you know, we never know. It's always an adventure, but come on along. Oh, <gasps> and here we are outside a CVS. Look at that. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's hope it's not that bad, right? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just gotta go pick up stuff like shampoo and things like that. <laughs> Come on, love that. <laughs> huh. I was gonna pick up some laundry detergent here, but I don't. See, all this is where all the pods are. They have totally sold out of pods. I don't want to carry a giant. I don't like this because when you walk, these are like really heavy. Ugh, it's like 64. How much is that? 100 fluid ounces. No wonder it's so heavy. I like the little pod packs. You don't know what I'm talking about. You just throw them in. They're like a little capsule and they go in the wash. We don't have to look around. I'm not seeing this. Well, isn't that strange? I've never seen something totally sell out like that. Yeah, let's look around. Oh, I tell you, this store is designed for temptation. I'm walking by and look what pops out. Snickers peanut butter. What is this? They're like little bit size Snickers things. Ooh, almond butter. Ooh, that looks good. $3.99. Hmm. Special. No, Second Bob does not need any more candy. We're not buying it. We're gonna be controlled. <laughs> Ooh, look what I just found. Cherry Pop-Tarts. Second Bob loves cherry Pop-Tarts. Once in the morning, so I don't eat a lot at breakfast. I just eat a little toast and tea. Sometimes I have a Pop-Tart and tea. I think that's gonna go home with Second Bob. While I'm here, I'm gonna check out ink. I always like to buy extra ink to keep it on hand. And I have an HP printer. Oh man, this is the one I want. Wow. They're out. Here's the 65. Oops. Well, I guess not going to get ink. That one's sold out. Everywhere I go, it's sold out. I just got a, a pack of it a week ago here, and I thought, well, I better get a backup. And it's already sold out. I went to Walmart recently. It was sold out there. So I don't know. This is like popular ink, I guess. And while I'm here, I'm going to look for a Vogue magazine. I love to study Vogue. It's got this really cool artistic style and fashion. I am not seeing Vogue. They usually have it here. Cosmo. I don't like Cosmo. Well, I guess I'm not going to get Vogue either. They're sold out of that. They think Bob's having a day. They're sold out of everything I want to buy. No print, ink print, printer ink. I can't talk. No Vogue magazine. Golly gee. Well. Maybe it's just a sign that we're done here. It's time ago. I got some Pop Tarts. I got some Kleenex tissues I needed. I can't get Tide Pods. I can't get my detergent. I can't get my ink. And I can't get my magazine. I told you, this store, it's like a curse. I can't do the simplest things here without drama. Oh, well, let's just get out of here. Time to go out. I'd rather be in the night air, anyways. I really would. <laughs> All right, Tubies, I just bought those two things. Nothing else I wanted to buy is here, so just not meant to be. So, looks like Bob's gonna head back into the night. So come on along. I tell you, the air out here tonight is great. It's so gentle and tropical. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. I'm enjoying it. Right here by the Honda dealership. And I just love signs, like neon signs at night. I don't know. They just hold this sort of nostalgic feeling for me. I don't know. I just like, I like the way they light up this dealership. And as you can see, here's the big Honda sign here. I'm not being endorsed by Honda. Uh, 
nor CVS. <laughs> but there you go. Big Honda sign. Let's go up and look at it. I don't know, I just think it's kind of cool. I just love glowing signs. All right, call me crazy, but I have a great time. Just walking along in the gentle night air. I'm just a night person, always have been. I love the nighttime. Some of my friends call me a vampire. <laughs> they said we never see Bob until the sun goes down. That's probably true. All the cars are out at night. This is a main thoroughfare here called Duke Street. It runs all the way down that way to Old Town Alexandria. All the way that way up to Fairfax, Virginia. One long road, it must go like 30 miles, uh, seriously, I think. Over there, Shooter McGee's, they're still open. I don't want to go in there, because if I go in Shooter McGee's, I probably want a martini. And I got work to do. I don't have time to be having a drink. <laughs> now look where we're coming up on, McDonald's. I do think I'll stop and pick up a little something here though. You know, it's late, I haven't eaten dinner, but I still haven't been hungry till now. You ever have days where it's like you just don't get hungry? I don't know, that's how I feel, but I feel like I'm ready for a little sustenance now. And it's late and I don't wanna go to shooters. I just think I'll go over here and pick up something. There's the golden arches. See ya? McDonald's is such a part of American culture. I think Americans would starve if they closed McDonald's. <laughs> I really do, I think so. Do you have a McDonald's within walking distance of where you live? I tell you, it's a real luxury because I can just come and get some if I need it. Of course, it's also a temptation because it's so close. <laughs> Anyways, let's go out there. There's nobody in here tonight. We might actually get some service. We could do the kiosk here, but I really would rather just talk to a person. So we'll see what we got available tonight. Hello, how are you? Good, good to see you. I'm doing a video for YouTube tonight. That's called my night walk video. All right, well, let me see here. I gotta figure out what I want. Everybody's so nice here. I just placed my order. I got my drink cup. We're gonna get some, some to drink. I think a little Coke is what I'm in the mood for. Today. Yeah, like my Coca-Cola. I'm not being endorsed by Coke, I have to say that, nor am I being endorsed by McDonald's. <laughs> but I tell you, I have a great time here. Okay, my receipt is 302 and up here to have the board gosh they had nobody here when I walk in just a few minutes they filled up okay there I am now serving so I guess my food's gonna be coming soon so I'm on the list all right got my food and out into the night Ooh, still nice out there Ooh, look at that bright neon sign. I love that. Oh, and up there's a big golden M. I tell you, I love it. You know, I think Andy Warhol was a brilliant artist because he captured so much of our culture that's now considered pop art, but it's really part of American life, you know, symbols and different things. And I think if Andy Warhol were still here, he'd have some amazing stuff for us, you know. But let's walk on up. You know, we were talking about the happy trees earlier. Well, here's some more beautiful, rich green, happy trees. Soft light coming down through. I think Bob Ross would like this image. I really do. 
outside the golden arches. It's so quiet here tonight. I don't know where everybody is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I don't have a lot for you today. Psych Bob's a little tired. I've been literally doing readings and working on my house today. And uh, I just, you know, I got this video out late, but I did want to take you out on a night walk and just spend a few minutes with you, you know? Psych Bob doesn't always have a great and profound mystery. Sometimes. I just want to be with you guys and just let you know what I'm doing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this tonight. And uh, I look forward to, to hearing from all of you, you know. Tell me in the box below, do you like going on these night walks? Um, where would you like me to take you? You know, somebody said to me recently, say goodbye, you got to take us to Georgetown, to the steps where they filmed the movie The Exorcist. And that's the place I do think I want to take you guys. So we're going to have to make that a goal this summer to go to Georgetown. And, you know, we'll go back to the art gallery. A lot of you love the art gallery. we got the National Gallery and the Hirshhorn. And, uh, you know, speaking of art, I've been working on paintings too. So I have some more art for you in the coming days also. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep it short. Listen, I love you. Mm. Sending blessings to all of you. Thanks for being here. Listen, help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We'd love you to be at Spirit Channel. Well, I'm going to head on home and have a little dinner. I think I'll watch Unsolved Mysteries. Do you guys know that show? There's a YouTube channel. Now, I'm not being endorsed by them. Unsolved Mysteries uh, was a big show back in the 80s about crime and missing persons and paranormal stuff. It's on YouTube now. So if you look up Unsolved Mysteries, you'll find their channel. And it's, maybe I can put the link below. But I'm going to watch an episode of that tonight. That's how I'm going to unwind. Have a little dinner, unwind, and work a little bit on paintings before I go to bed. Guys, thanks for being here. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Be back here tomorrow. It's Friday. It's free for all Friday. Maybe we'll have a little bit about art tomorrow and go on an adventure. Just be back here. We'll see you then. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell. Be part of our scene. Like this, favorite it, share it with your friends. You guys rock. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, may you all always blessed be.